I thought today while I was tying in my sweet peas, I would do a garden tag. Now this tag is was created back in 2015 by Katie Cooks and Crafts and Allison in Mommy Land. I thought it would just be kind of like a nice thing to do. And I love watching these types of videos anyway. I have two patio garden spaces. I'm in zone five, yeah, in New England. And it is a brand new garden. This space where I am right now faces almost directly east. So it gets morning, sun, but there is a tree um, so everything is kind of like dappled morning sun and then the other part of the apartment faces west so it gets afternoon sunlight um, so every anything that I really want to grow and needs more sun goes down on the front porch just because there isn't a huge tree way down there. My favorite thing to grow before they died were my were my snow peas. They're just so cute and like I just love the way that their tendrils curl around things. Like I guess if I had a, a garden that wasn't like a, an apartment garden, I would want to grow tons and tons and tons more things um, that I just don't have space for here, or I don't have the sun requirements for, like I would love to grow eggplants, I love eggplants, um, I'd love to grow tons of flowers, like those big Walker sunflowers that are <laughs> like 12 feet tall. Not 12, maybe 12 feet, I don't know. Um, Brussels sprouts, I'd love to grow Brussels sprouts. Um, I don't think so. No, no, not yet. Sunlight. Not have, being able to have sunlight all day for any of my plants is kind of difficult. Um, the only thing that I really use as far as protection from um, bugs and things like that is I just try to do polycultures, meaning that I try my best to plant like say I have in every container I have one main vegetable and then I'll have like chives or an onion that or an herb that adds kind of a factor of a smell deterrent that some pests don't like and then maybe I'll have a marigold in the same container that reportedly deters um, pests as well. I'm not really sure what that question means. Um, I didn't get start started planting everything until my last frost date, which was uh, May 15th, I believe. So I didn't get anything early. So I guess that would be my first my first planting would be direct sowing. Um, I plan on planting a bunch of things at the beginning of August for a fall garden, so I guess there would be two plant things that I'm doing. No, but I would love one, a nice big one, as I'm sure every gardener wants one. I can't imagine that the way that everything is planted now that I will have any excess at all. <laughs> that I, I do plan on preserving are the, um, the, what am I trying to say? The 
herbs like my bee balm, um, the basils. I hopefully I'm gonna get some white sage. I would just plan on drying those things and I'll, also I'm growing indigo so I would be processing that for dye which is kind of seems like a bit of a harrowing process and I'm not sure that I would be getting enough indigo this year to make enough for dye at all but I'm going to try it out. I also have a plan to where to put my excess indigo plants. There's a, a space in the back of our apartment building that's kind of, um, it just kind of like nobody uses it. It's just kind of like a dead space. There's no cars, there isn't a dumpster or anything. So what I'm going to do is just plant those plants out there and hopefully uh, they just look like background foliage and nobody messes with them and then I can grow them up. I think, I think it might work. And also, I have loved YouTube for so long and I don't think that there has been a day that has gone by since Charlie bit my finger that YouTube has not been a part of my daily routine. Uh, just recently did I discover the gardening part of YouTube. So some of my favorite gardeners are, there's a girl with a channel, her and her husband have a channel, it's called Garden Answer. And they do primarily landscaping and flower gardening. But all of her information is so concise and cheerful and just really nicely packaged and makes it feel really simple. Like I can create and maintain beautiful flower baskets um, myself instead of having to buy them. I also really, really, really love a gardener um, with a channel called What Vivi Did Next. She's a gardener from England and has an allotment. And I love watching a lot of the British allotment gardeners because <laughs> I find the accents <laughs> are just really relaxing <laughs> anyway. Um, and. There, it's just, YouTube in England is pretty popular, I think, so there's quite a lot to choose from. I also like, uh, sh on her same plot, or her same gardening area, there's a guy called Sean James Cameron, and he has backlogs of videos from like 2013, so when I don't have anything to watch on Netflix, I just binge watch all of his old gardening videos and it's just really great. I also really love um, a channel called California Gardening. He's based in San Diego, which is I think like a zone 9 or zone 10, which is so vastly different from where I garden. Um, it's From what I understand, it's like very temperate all year long and I just am so jealous. He only has a small backyard but he plants fruit trees and everything is just super abundant. It's beautiful. Um, he does plant videos on either one specific topic or like what he's got going on in his garden and he just has a really beautiful garden that um, I'm totally jealous of. I also like a channel called One Yard Revolution. He is based out of Chicago and does permaculture gardening um, where he has a lot of things that are self-sown and he also gardens all the way through the winter which is, he's also in a zone five so under hoop housing 
and um, cold frames and all that. It's really, really cool how much food you can grow in a cold, snowy climate in the winter time. And there's one last channel. Um, I don't believe he makes videos anymore, but when I found his videos, they had the most information on container polyculture or container companion planting that I had seen anywhere. He is based in India and he has a rooftop garden. And he had some videos where he just kind of had like a five gallon bucket or something and showed all of the different, I mean there wasn't tons, but the different vegetables that he was growing together in that five gallon bucket and how they were benefiting each other and how they worked all together. So it was just really neat um, to see and kind of got me thinking about my own I will put the questions for this tag in the description box and if anybody out there in the YouTube world does feel like doing this tag this summer please put your video link in the comments below and I'd love to see your uh, answers as well I hope everyone has a great weekend. Bye.